What's happening guys, I'm from TechStories. Welcome back to another What's in the Box episode, a series where I figure out what's in the box. No sh we only got four boxes this time, so it might be a short episode, but this is the box that I'm most excited about, guys. This is from Razer, and they told me they're sending me some goodies to review on the channel, so I'm excited. I don't know what's inside here, but we're gonna keep this to the end, because you guys know how we do it. We start with the small boxes, and we end up with the big ones. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with this. Okay, so this one is actually from Cooler Master. Oh. It's a bag inside of a bag, okay. Ooh, okay, what is this? Wow, guys, I got a shirt from Cooler Master and I'm actually excited because I'm tired of wearing the same shirt over and over again. You guys probably saw this Game of Thrones shirt so many times in the video, so finally got something to change it up. So thank you, Cooler Master. Oh, there's actually two. Bob, there's one for you. Also, in the bag, we've got some stuff, um, some storage from XPG. We have an SSD and an M.2. This is actually going into the build. Actually, I can't say it. It's a secret, guys. I can't tell you what build it's going into, but it's going into a build, obviously. Also, from a data, we've got some RAM sticks. Ooh. We got two red ones and two black. So these are 3000 megahertz, eight gigabyte sticks. So a total of 32 gigs. Okay, not bad. And it appears that they're RGB, judging by the uh, white plastic piece on top. So, all right guys, let's move on to the next box, which is from E. Actually, no, I lied. It's also from Cooler Master. This is a smaller box, so let's check this one out. Okay, this is just um, a Cooler Master power supply. This is the V750, so yeah. Nothing too exciting, just the power supply. This is the box from EK. I wonder what's inside here. I did request a few things from them. I'm curious if this is one of the items or all of them in one box. We'll find out, I guess. Oh, they sent in two. Wow, I, that's insane. I didn't know they were gonna send both of them. So guys, this is the new EK RGB 360 kit. It's an all-in-one liquid cooling kit for your PC and they sent over the 360 version as well as the 240. I did post a poll on Twitter and asked you guys if you wanted to see a water cooling build guide. So that's what this is for. I'm gonna be using the 360 kit from EK and do a step-by-step -step build guide on how to use this kit on either upgrading your PC or starting a fresh water-cooled build. So yeah, very excited about that, guys. If you wanna see that, make sure you stick around. I don't, know, I don't know why I did that. So, okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here, but essentially this kit comes with a CPU block you have your pump reservoir combo as well as a 360 millimeter radiator. Or if you guys pick up the 240 kit, you will get a 240 millimeter radiator instead. And of course it's RGB, not only the fans, but also the pump and the CPU block itself can be lit into whatever color you guys want. All right, let's put these aside and get to the main event of the evening, guys. My favorite, I'm, I'm, I'm that excited. Oh, this is heavy. Razer, what do you have for me? Let's check this out, baby. Okay, are you ready, Bob? He, he's smiling too. You get <laughs> He's smiling. Oh my God, okay, okay. There goes my knife. So, this first box. There's nothing on here, so I don't know what the hell is that. Whoa, what the? Okay, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff in here. This is the first thing I've noticed, actually. There goes the knife again. God 
Damn it. The first one is obviously a GPU. They sent over a Founders Edition 1080 Ti. Ti, guys. Okay. Actually, I lied. It's not a Ti. Why, why did I say Ti? It's a 1080. But okay. They sent in. Why did they send me a GPU? What's in this one? Oh, this is another GPU. This is a Sapphire. I'm guessing it's a 570 or a 580. It's a 570. It's a 570 8 gigabyte graphics card, which I'm guessing it has something to do with this box. Let's open this up. All right. Oh, dude, this is the new Razer Core X. Oh my God. So guys, this is the new Razer Core X. It's an external GPU solution, which uses Thunderbolt 3, and you can connect that to anything that supports Thunderbolt 3. So it's in your laptop or MacBook, and you can hook up a GPU to it and use a GPU. So if you want to do gaming or any GPU accelerated uh, programs, that's what this is basically for. We did pick up a 2018 MacBook recently, so we're gonna be hooking this up to it and do some testing, so yeah. All right, guys, moving on to this box over here, which I think I already have an idea what this is. Oh my God, it's so thin. I'm like, the box is thin. I can only imagine the laptop. Oh my God. Oh, wow. I want you guys to hear this. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the new 2018 Razer Blade. I believe it's the 15 inch model. Let's pop this open. Look at these bezels, guys. That was a fast boot. It took like less than five seconds to boot up. Got an RGB keyboard there as well. Very nice. Oh, it's touch screen. Oh, they sent the 4K model, dude. Hold on, I gotta check. It is the 4K model, 3840 by 2160, guys. Oh my, and it's touch screen. We're gonna have, we're gonna have fun with this baby. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have fun with this baby. So yeah, guys, we're gonna be doing a lot of testing. We're actually gonna be comparing this to the new 2018 MacBook. So in terms of gaming, of course, in terms of productivity, the whole shebang, we're gonna cover everything between these two laptops. So if there's anything specific you guys wanna see between these two laptops, let me know in the comment section below. We're also gonna be doing a separate review of the Razer Blade as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. All right guys, I think that's pretty much it for the video. I can't wait to start using this right now actually. So I'm gonna wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna check out any of these products, of course, I'll leave a link down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love your faces and I'll see you in the next video.